Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video I'll show you how to use a very handy program called ROM Lister. This program is a very powerful and simple way to help you organize your main ROMs by many different categories. Like the available controls, the number of players, the genre, or a number of other variables. I do wish to point out that this powerful tool is no longer being developed, and hasn't been developed since 2016 as of making this video. This means two important things. The first, is that this only seems to work with older main ROM sets, version.162 and older. I do believe that you can use ROM Lister with new ROM sets, but I'm not 100% sure it sees or organizes the newer ROMs in those newer ROM sets as it converts the metadata to an older version in order to work. The second thing is updates on the software to keep the software running. I'm using Windows 10 and sometimes when running ROM Lister it'll stop responding until it finishes thinking. I don't remember this being an issue in Windows 7 when I've used ROM Lister in the past. Downloading and installing this program is very easy. You'll find the web page for this, and all the other software needed in my description. Basically, we'll download this file, and use a zip utility to extract the file. I'm going to put this, and all the files I need into a pre-made folder I'm calling, ROM Lister, and I'll place that folder on my desktop. I've used this program in the past on this computer so when I open ROM Lister it opens into the software interface. However, when you open ROM Lister for the first time it will take you to a setup page and ask for a set of main ROM support files. With one of these files being provided by the main program itself. If you don't find yourself on the setup page don't worry, simply click on the settings and tools icon in the top right of the window. Before we get to far let's download the needed main support files. We will need three files not provided by the MAME software, with one of them being optional. We'll need a controls.xml file, a catvia.ini file, and an optional, nplayers.ini file. Each of these files are easy to get, however I did seem to have issues with the download link for the players file. I'm not sure how I got it to work, and I may have just been impatient. Let me know if you had any issue in the comments please. I'd love to know how it went for you. What we'll basically do is download each of the needed files from each of the provided web pages. Again, please find each of the web pages in my description. You can also find links for each of these on the software. However, some of the web addresses that are posted in the software are dated and will not work. After you've downloaded each of them, you'll need to use a zip utility. Again, I'm going to place each of the needed MAME support files in a folder on my desktop just to make life easier on me. You may choose to place your files in another folder. Please just remember where you've placed your folder as you'll need to navigate to it later. Some of the zip folders have multiple files inside. Please keep in mind it isn't going to hurt anything if you unzip all of them into your ROM Lister folder, but keep in mind we only need the files that the software is asking for. Control.xml, catvia.ini, and then player.ini. After I've downloaded and extracted each of the files, I check and verify that I do have them in the right place. As you can see so far we have the control.xml file, and the catvia.ini. These are the only two that are needed, but ROM Lister also gives us the option to add the number of players a game has, as one of our selection options. Again, I had a few issues downloading the nplayers.ini file, I was able to get it, and we'll just move on to extracting the file. Once you have the nplayer.ini zip file, use a zip utility to extract the file. I'll extract the file into the ROM Lister folder that I've placed on my desktop just like we did with the other needed files. Now that we have all of the needed files, we'll tell ROM Lister where each of the files are. To do this we simply click on the browse icon that corresponds with each of the files. After we've clicked on the link navigate to the ROM Lister folder that we placed on the desktop, and select the appropriate file. I almost forgot, we'll also need to tell ROM Lister where our MAME executable file is located. If you recall one of the files is made by your MAME program itself. We'll simply tell ROM Lister where the main.exe file is, and ROM Lister will ask main for the needed file.
If you see a Windows terminal pop up, don't worry this is normal. The last thing we need to do is merge all of this information together so that we can use the program to select only the games we want based off of all the variables available to us. Basically, we click on the merge button, and it will ask us where we would like to save our merged file. Again to keep things super simple, I save the file into my ROM Lister folder on my desktop. Again this is just to make things easy to find. When the program does run it will take a minute. Be patient as this is normal. Basically, at this point, the program is going to convert the information provided to information compatible with ROM set version.162. At this point in the video, my computer crashed, and that made my heart sad inside. My personal computer is an older model, this has been happening more and more, and I'm going to need to source a new one at the beginning of the year. You should wish me luck with that, or at the very least leave me a like, and subscribe to the channel. After a quick rebooting, and reopening the ROM Lister software, we are back at it once again. As you can see ROM Lister basically has 8 sections that you can make selections on. Each area is very easy to understand, and most of the selections are straightforward as well. I would like to point out that under the miscellaneous section, I personally would always keep the playable option checked. If not you're going to end up with tons of none working games. Also it's important to know how you can select options. As you can see some options have three choices. A solid check mark, a grey check mark, or nothing at all. Let's start with the simple one. Nothing at all. Well that means just that, nothing or none of that option. A solid line means it has to have this option, and a grey line means it can have that option or it doesn't have to. We've basically done all of this work just so we could use this software. That's right we've not really even used the software yet, and before we do we'll need to make a folder to copy all of the ROMs we are selecting with ROM Lister. After making the folder, I'm going to tell ROM Lister where I've placed the folder, this way ROM Lister will know where to copy my selected ROMs to. We'll also need to tell ROM List what kind of list we'd like, and where to save it. I'm going to use ROM Lister this time to make a batch file that will copy the selected games from the ROMs folder in my main software to the newly made folder called Game Copy in my main ROMs folder. I'll also need to tell ROM Lister where to save the batch file, and high in sight being 20, 20, I should have saved the batch file to the ROMs folder inside my main software. It's not a big deal as all I need to do is copy the batch file from where I've saved it to the right folder in main. Once it's copied over all we have to do is click on it, and it will copy all OD the ROMs we selected using ROM Lister into the newly made folder. To make your list using ROM Lister, simply make your selections from each category, and click make a list on the right hand side. Please remember that this is an older program, and is no longer under development. I'm speeding this up for time, but when making this list, ROM Lister didn't respond for over a full minute. Just let ROM Lister run, and be patient with the process. 95% of the time the system recovers, and you'll have a list with all of your options. Because we practiced patience, ROM Lister has built us a list of over 2320 playable ROMs that are based off of our selections, and ROM Lister doesn't stop just there. ROM Lister also gives us the ability to export this list as a number of helpful tools. As stated we'll be making a batch file to copy our ROMs to another folder. After making this list, I found that I had the number of buttons wrong, so I'm going to adjust and try again to see how many more ROMs, ROM Lister will select. Wow, we now have over 3000 ROMs selected based off of the options that we've chosen. The next thing we'll need to do is save our list as a batch file that can be used to copy each of these selected ROMs to a new folder. I should have saved the batch file in the main program's ROM folder, but I didn't. This isn't a big deal we'll just have to remember to copy the batch file to the location of my ROM files as it must be in the root of the ROMs folder to work. To be blunt, it took me a minute to figure out that I saved the batch file to the wrong folder, and after a little confusion, renaming my batch file for no reason, and then figuring it all out. I copy the batch file to my main program's ROM folder, and simply execute the batch file. If you've done everything right, all of the ROMs listed in your batch file will be copied over to your specified folder. 
I know this isn't exactly 100% automated, but it is 100% free, it's much easier than looking at each ROM manually, and once you've figured it out, it's fairly automated. The biggest downside to this app is the fact that it hasn't been supported since 2016. I know Bigbox, and or Launchbox, has an automated way to do this, but I'm cheap and not using it as a front-end so that isn't an option for me. This really is a great free alternative to managing your main ROM sets so you're only using ROMs that match the controls on your arcade, however this tool is endangered of no longer working one day, if not updated again soon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. It helps the channel grow, and it helps me deliver you new content.